and nothing even happened to make me feel that way it's just like my brain was everywhere and it was super tiring hey guys and welcome back to my channel i'm jordan and welcome back to another motivational monday i know it's been a long time since i did a motivational monday but i just kind of wanted to get a feel for middle school before i talked about things that are like about middle school or what most middle school kids are going through because i kind of didn't want to give you know fake advice since i've been in middle school for a while i know a few two or three things and oh honey it is hectic one thing I have been experiencing with myself a lot is a mood swing swings. I've been going through them. People I know have been going through them. Just like everybody is a moody tootie. So today we are going to be talking about mood swings. Kai Swung, get. So I have been having a lot of mood scenes myself. For example, I would be really happy, then just get really sad, then I'll be happy again, and then I'll start crying out of nowhere. Like I have been going through really bad mood scenes because one day I just woke up and I was just not having it. Everything was making me mad, everything was making me cry, everything was making me sad or irritated, and I was like, everything like I wanted to, I cried over everything I cried over this I cried over that I was mad over this I was mad over that it was crazy it was so hectic and nothing even happened to make me feel that way it's just like my brain was everywhere and it was super tiring it was just super hard and I didn't feel like myself for the past like the whole entire week after that like it was just sad, I was just sad and mad, I wasn't the funnest to be around, the funnest to talk to, because I was just so moody, and I didn't feel like my normal self, like happy and regular. I hated it. It was so confusing. I even texted my mom, and I was like, I'm so confused, I don't know what's happening. It got so bad that one day I raised my hand to ask my teacher a question, and she came over, and I couldn't even ask the question, I just started bawling tears I started sobbing like crazy like a maniac and my teacher didn't know what to do she was so confused I couldn't even ask the question still and it was it's funny now but at the moment I was so embarrassed and then before she walked away I was fine ah and I know it can be hectic but this is something I want to put out there don't go on Google and Google why am I having mood swings because it will not give you a definite answer and it will bring up some crazy things. So I went to go talk to my mom about it and she gave me some really good advice that I want to share with you guys. One of the biggest things that I learned from my mom that I want to talk to you guys about is that we are smack dab in the center of puberty and during puberty everything is changing inside and out not only are we growing pimples and getting hair i mixed them up <laughs> i mean getting pimples and growing hair but in the inside we're struggling too like our identity our self image our trust and liking people we also are worrying about feeling accepted or being liked by your friends really anything it is dramatic all up in our brain oh you're not crazy no you're not going crazy in your head it's just that our body is producing hormones and hormones kind of make everything wonky wonky i know we might feel like alone and that we have nobody to talk to and nobody's getting it and our parents might not be the coolest but they have gone through this stuff before because they were our age once in a lifetime might not see like it but they were so talk to them the really good advice that my mom gave me too is that try to distract your brain so instead of just sitting there hating life and just being in this like irritated sad ball of mess just try to think about like focusing on your work and Thinking of happy things or everything that makes you happy. Try to focus on something so you're not just like all over the place. Another amazing tip that she gave to me is try to just relax and catch your breath. So close your eyes, breathe in, and count to 10. It can really relax you and it can calm down your crazy brain from going 100 miles per hour. 
Also, something that she told me is that it's okay to cry. We all try not to cry and not let anybody see us cry, so we just keep bottling our feelings and bottling them and bottling them until they just explode, like when you're asking a teacher a question. But they just explode and go everywhere, and then we can't stop crying. And I know I didn't want to be labeled a crybaby, even though I already am, but it's okay to cry. There's nothing wrong about it. It's a way to express your emotion. Everybody does it. Speaking about not bottling things in, talk to people you trust. Your mom, your dad, your grandma, your diary, your dog, your cat, your fish, anything or anybody that you trust to just let things out. And especially when you're talking to your parents about it, they can tell you about their experiences and how they handle it. And it's really good to have that in your brain like, oh, when you're feeling that way to have like, oh, mom did this or dad did this and it could actually help you a lot. Hearing different perspectives from people that are older than you can help a lot and they are more experienced because we might think that we know it all but we don't and if you don't want to talk to your parents about it because I know some of us are might be a little bit more private but you can talk to your teachers and your counselors and even your doctors talking to people you trust can help sort all of your feelings so don't keep everything inside also, you want to get a good amount of sleep because sometimes when we're cranky or mad, it's because we did not sleep well. So if you're upset, you might want to try getting a different sleeping pattern. And also eating a healthier diet can help too because I know we just all want to just eat uh, Doritos and drink watermelon Arizonas all day. I'm talking about, I'm talking about me. But actually eating healthier can help too with our moody problems. So try to eat healthier for our sake and kind of everybody's sake so they don't have to deal with the moody tune. One of the biggest things is to realize that we are not alone. Everybody has at least one mood swing at this age. I know it can feel like, oh my god, nobody understands me. I'm the only one going through this. But they do understand you. But for real, one of the most serious tips I have for you guys is that if your negative mood swings last really long and too long, you should talk to somebody because it can be more, something more serious than just a mood swing for real talk to a parent a guardian your teachers your counselor your doctor somebody that you trust and somebody that is older and more mature it can help you guide you through to being happier i know that i haven't been doing a lot of motivational mondays recently but i am going to get back into it so that i'm getting back into it make sure you let me know what topics you want me to cover you can let me know on TikTok. You can let me know on Instagram. I know here the comments are turned off. <sighs> Turn it back on. But you guys found a way to talk to me. And I haven't said this in so long, but happy Motivational Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do all that fun stuff. All that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Love.